Greetings, Ridge family. Uh, update on Friday, November 20th. We will continue our three services here on campus, the 8 o'clock, the 9.30, and the 10.50. And this Sunday, we will be finishing the book of Job. So if you get a chance to read Job chapter 42, we're going to conclude the book of Job. Been a great study for me personally, so hopefully you can prepare your heart for the message this coming Sunday. One of the big changes this week that just actually came out last night and uh, went into effect at 12.01 a.m. this morning, and that is a mask mandate by our county. And so we've been trying to stay in touch with our county, with our state and national guidelines as we've been mentioning over the past eight or nine months. Well, things here in Franklin County have been continuing to get a little bit crazy. And so they put a mass mandate from now through December 20th. And so it will change what we're asking our church family to do. So we're asking everyone who is 10 years old and older to wear a mask to the worship services and to the small groups. And uh, we're just asking you, again, something that we all work together. I know wearing a mask or not wearing a mask, people have very, very strong feelings. And I, I get it. I understand those feelings. But I really feel like we've been in a county that's been very balanced, that's been very supportive. I think our governor just listened to a call just yesterday from the governor to the pastors in Missouri. I think we have an incredible governor who's a born-again believer. He's very supportive of the churches. And so I really want us to do our part to follow that mandate. So again, we just appreciate everybody. It may not be our ideal situation, but I believe for 30 days we can do this thing. We want everything to continue moving forward as normal as we can. But we are going to ask everyone to wear a mask again in the worship service and in the small groups. And so we will keep you updated as we get uh, new information. We appreciate your patience. And again, if you're frustrated, I get it. I understand. But, you know, to me, as believers, Paul said, I become all things to all people so that we might win some. And I think we need to have that same attitude. You know, pr preferably, I would rather not wear the mask. But, you know, if wearing a mask just shows a sign that we care about and that we're willing to do that for our fellow brothers and sisters and really to try to submit to the, what the government's asking us to do. Again, they're not asking us not to teach or preach the gospel. We've had a lot of freedom and still have freedom to do that. But they're asking us to do this to somehow as a county begin to help each other. And so I really feel like it's something, our staff feels like it's something that's very doable. And so we really appreciate your and we are going to have some masks here at the church. If you have your own, we would encourage you to bring your own and find one that you're comfortable with. So again, that will start this Sunday and it will go through December 20th. If you have any questions, give us a call. And again, I appreciate your patience. And I think together we're going to get through this. It sounds a little crazy, but I feel positive. I feel like God is up to, up to something. You know, in the Bible, every time there were detours and setbacks and speed bumps, God seemed to always be taking his children somewhere to a different level. And I think God is doing that. And so I'm excited about what's going on. I think we have an opportunity in the middle of all this COVID craziness to really show people that we have hope, that there is something positive, that God can work in our lives. So just want to encourage you to stay positive. Let's keep praying for each other. And again, to each do our part as we get through this. If you're joining us by way of live stream this Sunday, be at 930, either on Facebook or YouTube. I know we've had a few glitches with one or the other. It's nothing on our end. For whatever reason, it's something on their end, but we're doing our very best. So hope you join us. If you're not going to come uh, to the campus for one of the three services, join us this Sunday at 930 a.m. Uh, we were going to have a church-wide Thanksgiving meal this Sunday, but we have postponed that to a later date because of the mass mandate and because of the spike in all the COVID cases. So we're still planning. I know Thanksgiving is going to happen this next week, but we're going to try to have a Thanksgiving 
church-wide meal maybe in January or February and just give thanks. So we're still planning on doing it. It's a great time to fellowship and to hang out with other members of the church here, but we will keep you updated on when we're going to do that. We appreciate Haggies in uh, Union. They were willing to, to cancel everything and let us postpone it to a later date without any penalty, so we appreciate them. Appreciate our kitchen crew. They were so faithful, all ready to go. But again, our heart is we want safety for our church family, yet we want to, again, keep everything going as normal as we can. So we plan on keeping everything going as much as possible, and we're just going to try to fit it in with those guidelines and try to make everything work. So stay patient, keep praying for us as we pray for you. A reminder to please stay home if you're at high risk, if you feel yourself uh, with a fever, not feeling good, please err on the side of caution. And together we're working to every, keep everything safe. We're still sanitizing everything in between the services. So we just want you to know we're trying to go above and beyond to keep everything safe for your church family. As we've been giving out a number over the past eight or nine months, we encourage you, if you feel like you're discouraged or you know someone that just uh, needs some encouragement, have them text or call 636-388-8771. Love you guys. I can't think of a better group to go through this COVID-19 journey with. I do feel like God is up to something. I feel positive. I feel optimistic. We're gonna get through this. And so again, just making an adjustment for each other and again, to try to abide by those county mandates. I think it's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna stay positive. And so I just wanna pray for you. Love you guys. Let's pray together. Father, I just wanna thank you, Lord, for my Ridge family and those connected, those who are watching. I pray that every need would be met, that you would just reach down and just wrap your arms around each one who is listening. Father, just remind each one how much you love them and how special they are to you. I pray that you would fill us with your spirit. Give us the grace and the wisdom to take one day at a time and to really live each day for you. I pray for all those that you put in authority over us in our county, our state, our national government. Father, I just pray that you would surround them, Lord, with Christian influence, that you would give them godly wisdom. And Lord, we just pray for great things for our county, for our state, and for our nation. So we just look to you and you alone for the answer. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys.